Like most children, Dylan Lauren grew up with an appreciation for candy in all its forms. Instead of following her dad, Ralph Lauren, into a fashion career, Dylan pursued her own passion, creating a premier confectionery emporium, Dylan's Candy Bar. Today, the brand has expanded to over a dozen locations, including New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago, each one carrying over 7,000 candies from around the world. I sat down with Dylan at her flagship store to talk about the sweet life. Everybody loves candy, but not everybody takes a big vision like this and translates their love of something into a whole business. So how did this happen? Connect the dots for me. I love looking at candy. It's not just to eat it, it's the colors, the shapes, the textures. Candy is fashion, it's art, it's happiness. And there was no candy store that really felt like Willy Wonka. I had always wanted to live in Willy Wonka's world, so. Of course. <laughs> yeah, so I felt like Dylan's Candy Bar was the place for any anyone who loves candy and candy-related gifts to find anything they liked in this whimsical setting that felt like a Disneyland for candy lovers. Did you start out with a desire and an interest in starting a business? Well, it's more of an art form, actually. I started making collages with candy packaging. I used a lot of candy and mosaics and decoupaging. And then I started finding other artists who worked with candy. And then, actually, the retail component came in where I was like, I'll actually sell the art and I'll actually sell candy, too. <laughs> so you yeah. sell both nostalgic candies that everybody has grown up loving yeah. and then you create candies. What's the process of creating a candy? I go to meet all different candy vendors at the big candy expos. I taste everything, I tweak the recipe, and I also really work on changing it up. So I will work with the vendor to make it cool, change the color, change the flavor, and then actually make it packaged so it's a more high-end gift. But we don't just make candy products, we do candy jewelry, such as this bracelet, candy robes, spa products, candy tech stuff. So it's really a lifestyle brand, and it's the colors and the designs of candy patterns that I enjoy designing with. Could you talk about those different aspects? I like playing with them and creating patterns, and then my graphic designers and I will translate those patterns onto clothing. So candy is really a fun medium to design with. And then we've also done tech, like iPad covers, cell phone covers, earbuds that look like cupcakes or lollipops. So it's for kids and adults, and it's great non-edible gifts. You know, we teach interior design and architecture at SCAD. Mm -hmm. What kind of direction do you give the designers in creating these vivid spaces mm -hmm. of imagination that people can enjoy and just have a good time in? Well, I really love pop art references such as Klaus Oldenburg or Jeff Koons, oversized, over the top, you know, candy sculptures. I have a color palette that's you know, our brand colors. So we work off of that. I have a lot of graphics we've developed for like wallpapers. I actually have real candies and real desserts that I will show photos of and say, match this, but make it out of a high-end resin or a plexi. I want it to feel like a luxury store. And it just makes you happy and it just yeah. evokes all sorts of you know, optimism. Adults love that too. What's fun about the Dylan's Candy Bar brand is movie companies see it as a, a fun place to launch their movies. We've done candy with movies such as the Smurfs, Mean Girls, or with Pink Candy and the Kale Teen Bars. Wizard of Oz had their anniversary candy collection with us. We did Minions Candy, <laughs> which was really popular with adults actually. We're working with whether it's Javianas or La Sports Sack or McLaren. We've done candy strollers, flip flops bags. It's really just fun to collaborate and make new products and not just candy you can eat, but candy anyone can enjoy. You know, people think, oh, candy is for kids, but I really wanted Dylan's Candy Bar to be for an adult and for the kid in the adult. So the word bar has, you know, drinks, which we yes. sell candy cocktails, but it's also chocolate bar. And then the martini glass and the logo represents the bar component. What's the best advice that you've gotten about growing your business? The best advice I got is to just really follow your passion and stick to your brand and not really worry about competitors and you know just really try to come back to your roots why you started the company and it kind of brings me back to a place of confidence. That's great advice.